Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the uh, weekly uh, replay. Weekly? No. A uh, replay review part two. It is Halloween. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. Why, why did we replay him again? Why? Cut him off. Cut him off. Cut him off. Why? Uh, <laughs> he started off strong and then it just it just it just no just spiraled downwards. <laughs> I am the only one enthusiastic about Halloween here. So so light our our head of stuff. What right. are we watching today? Uh we are gonna start with Lumia versus Terran Lord, right? Right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Lumia versus Terran Lord. Terran Lord being um the only person who took a game off Lumia. So I'm pretty I'm pretty interested to see like what happened there, you know, like Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna see. I mean the the other games from Lumia we've seen were actually kinda close, like much closer than we expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Chadman was really close. Kronos was really close. Like, you know, like it's not like they were they trash to O or something. Like they were keeping up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Lumia yeah. wasn't as dominant as we thought he was. You know, like before we got to see any of the games, like we were like, oh yeah, he toured everyone, but really, like, yeah, that's not the whole story. You know. Yeah, he's not that good. Yeah. <laughs> calm down, Yaku, calm down. I can take him. Uh huh, uh huh. Sure. Are you ready for my great observing? <laughs> Are you gonna do the spin? The world is not ready. Should I do the spin? I, I can show you what the spin looks like the because it, it, it's really bad. I also hope uh, people who see like this, whether it's live or through the VOD, appreciate the amazing, the amazing graphics that you made like twenty minutes yeah, ago. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's a work of half an hour. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I love it. But yeah, we're going in, going into the game. I think it's something drunk. to bear in mind. Is um, I hold on. I wait for the interest. Okay, yeah. And then I'll then I'll say what I have to say. Alrighty then. Spawning in the top left hand corner of the map, we have from Clan Allen the Red Terran, the number one guy in this weekly, Lumia. I can't even spin. <laughs> and it just doesn't work. On the bottom right hand corner of the map. We have the number two guy of this tournament, the Terran Lord. Hmm? Hmm? Okay, so what did you want to keep in mind? Uh, I wanted to say that um, something that we saw him do against Kronos is uh, he went Banshees, mm -hmm. um, like in every game. And he even said in chat, because he was in chat yesterday, um, that like that's his go-to opening in TVT. Like he doesn't know any other opening in TVT. That's just what he does. Like he just gets like double gas, he gets out a quick star port, and he goes banshees. Um so far so... it's a mirror. Exact mirror. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. exact mirror. So it'll be interesting, like whether he, he continues to do that and how Terran Lord adapts. Like if he does it this game, will he like do better against the next game? Like if it does a lot of damage, like, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. You will see indeed. There are a lot of scouting. I don't think Lumia is. Yeah, no scout from Lumia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, scouting's virtually useless at this level of play. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> he, sees the, he sees the double gas and the factory. Um, identical builds happening. Yeah, we, we just gotta wait and see what comes That's out of one it. 
my people here yeah, come down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, is this if you get stuck? Uh, this happened to me so many times when I try to scout. Like, they somehow mm -hmm. just find the correct spot to stack my worker and just too late. Both go for repairs. Except Terra yeah, just actually... sit at the base. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I say that as Lumia stops, he's like in the middle of the map. They both have the same, like, they're both uh, having like double reapers and they're both getting out of Cyclone, like... Yeah, so far it's a complete mirror. And there goes Lumia's Except, signature, yeah. the Starport. Starport. Yeah. The Terranos as well, a bit later, but as well. And the same inch, like, are they gonna both do the same Yeah, thing? it's gonna be like exact mirror the whole time. An important, an important difference is... That would be cool. There are um, three Reapers coming. Yeah. yeah. Not An important difference oh, is uh, Lumi is getting the tech lab. And Lumi is getting Lord three isn't. Reapers. Lumi. Yep. This is gonna be quite some harass. The man loves his banshees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, He's wait, switching wait. his star power with his barracks. Beautiful move, command. <laughs> and he starts yep, cloak and a banshee. Of course. Yeah. Meanwhile, but turn that's getting out of raven. raven. Yeah. I mean, that's gonna be pretty useful with a banshee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And they're both getting their CCs. Turn Lord is a little bit faster than Lumia's. Yeah, he started um, making it a while ago. But Lumia has it already building where it's gonna be, so. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's pretty even. Like, they're obviously building different armies, but. Pretty even so far. The Banshee is moving out. But with the Raven out, it shouldn't do much. Yeah, and he's keeping his Raven at home. Like, it's not going anywhere. So, he should be good. I was also worried for a moment there, because as I was saying that, he moved his Raven, and I was like, oh god, is it yeah, gonna leave? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no. Also... He just passed the Banshee with a Reaper, so he might have seen it. So maybe he was actually planning to move out, but because he scouted the Banshee, he said it not to. Yeah. I mean, like, like the Reaper so is just poking. Was just gonna stick with one Raven. He is switching to a reactor. Also, like, that's pretty big that, um... You know, Lumia invested in Cloak and a Banshee, and it, it did nothing, you know? And because of that, because to do that, he had to switch out his barracks with the Starport um, for the tech lab. That means he, did, he didn't start yeah. Stim, like, so uh, Terran Lord has Stim, like, oh, already started. Icon Lord. Well, that didn't do too much of a damage. And he's got his tank, his tank ready in case he tries to drop mm -hmm. again. Yeah, he always um. does that. Like we saw that in previous games, whenever like Lumia was attacked, he would always defend with the tank. Mm -hmm. It's pretty standard. Yeah, tanks are the very effective unit, just in general. Yeah, it's also pretty. Yeah, it's also pretty important for Eternal Lord to be doing this because. Um, despite the disadvantage with Banshees and stuff, um, he's been ahead in SCVs and he's been mining more this entire time, so like, it's good that he's been harassing and like forcing them to stop mining and stuff like that. Oh. The Banshee does get a few kills. Mm. And finally, the red goes up. Yeah, yeah. Vikings, I'm so proud. 
<laughs> That's the skin, right? That you buy? Yeah, this is the skin. Yeah. Looks nice. Ah, and he's already getting his CC. Yeah. Like his third. And Turn Lord is only just yeah, starting. Yeah, just started. Yeah, it's weird, it's like... Oh, the second drop is here. <laughs> well, looks like that third is not going to be that useful for a while, at least. Uh, actually, actually, with three Vikings... <laughs> look, 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 look how this, like, damage the medivac is. Yeah, yeah, luckily he didn't lose it. Um, it was close, it was close. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit weird because um even though turn lord had the advantage he also had the army advantage and stuff he kept everything at home um and lumia's army was smaller but he focused on his economy and now like you know he got his third base out faster he's mining more like and he's just gonna get further ahead because of that like mm -hmm. for whatever reason even though turn lord had a big army he just stayed at home and he didn't do anything with it little harass force moving out Meanwhile, my Terran Lord just decided to leave. Hmm? And yep. the Reaper passes it. Well, he is coming along for a little harass. Yeah. Like, Terran Lord, Terran Lord knows that that third base is up faster and he needs to do something about it, right? Like, he can't just let him have that advantage. I'm not sure if Lumia um. saw the army leaving or not. I think the Reaper, like, barely passed it. But I don't know if he saw it. Also, they're on the places he's right good. now. So we'll see. We'll see what Turnlord can do with this attack. This is a trap. He came to group the moons. Never mind. He has more than I uh, More Viking stuff. The air battle is gonna be more. Yeah. She once again tries to have some influence on the battle. Wait. And it's gonna leave. Did he scan? Oh, the, the raven was sniped. The yeah, raven was sniped. The banshee can just move in now. Yeah, the raven I mean, was out of position. Yeah. He, uh, he may have scans, but. Uh, but I guess he wanted to keep it for. Yeah, got it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like how, how much they are scanning each other all the time. Well, that's what that's what you do in TVT if your opponent scans you, you just scan him right back. Screw that guy. Yeah, that's like the only scan. this is the problem though. Like Turn Lord, he tried to do something, but you know now he's Lumia's fully saturated on three bases. And I feel like, like if he actually attacked faster, maybe it would have done more damage. But like yeah, yeah. He just kind of stopped there and like tried to contain the base and and. Lumia just managed to catch up. I'm gonna try to drop the base again. There is a turret ready in the tank. But that's quite a lot of things. Lumia reacts really fast though. Yeah. So that's gonna be cleaned up. And it did right now. Oh, the medivac. The medivac. Ah, no. no. <laughs> the anger. No. So, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Lumia like throws down a fourth now. Like he's just ahead in every way, like economy, army. Too much banshee is uh. moving out again. But it is TVT, like you know, if if Terran Lord catches Lumia like unseized or something, like he could still win. Like he could still win a big fight. Yeah, time for Lumia to move Positioning up. is key. We did just see yesterday a game between Kronos and Mia. 
Kronos very much ahead, but because of Lumia's better positioning, Kronos just yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very true. Yeah. Here comes Lumia, sieging up. I must have got the air buttons for the first. Jeez. The PDTs? Yeah, the PDTs are helping a lot. Now Vikings do the vision. Oh, they're on fight to Steve in part of his force. And like, he sniped the tank, so that's good. But like, I'm not entirely sure if that was worth it. Came around. Oh, he's going around with Marines. He's gonna try and flank, but oh. uh, Lumia moves in. Yeah, he just uh, goes in. It's close. Close. Whoa. Lumia also has With the spear. tank, he's gonna like barely clean up, I think. Oh no, no, actually no. No. Lumia. The tank was too damaged. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have this banshee around. But he has so reinforcement, fast. so if Lumia is not gonna get it. Oh, I can actually, you actually managed to do it. Uh, nice. Nice. Yeah. Wait. It was, um, I liked what <laughs> Turnlord was trying to do by, like... <laughs> I liked what Turnlord was trying to do by, like, sending his marines around, like, the side to, like, try and, like, catch um, the tanks and stuff like that. But, unfortunately, when he did that, that's when Lumia came in and... and like attacked and mm -hmm. because of that, um, Turn Lord's army was split in half and he just couldn't do as much with it. Like, mm -hmm. I guess I just liked the idea, but unfortunately it didn't work out. Um, yeah. 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 Cool. You're the, you're the Terran specialist here. Tell us, what did we just see? Yeah. Well, we did just see a pretty uh, standard TBT going down. You know, mm -hmm. not nothing crazy, although well, ravens, but yeah, <laughs> so it was just yeah. a game where better macro, better economy, better upgrades won the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was yeah. quite straightforward. Yeah, in a way, like, I, you know, again, um, I feel like if Terran Lord was a bit more aggressive in the beginning or in the mid game, um, then he could have done a lot more. Like, before Lumia got his third up and running, like, I feel like Terran Lord had a massive army advantage and could have done something, but yeah. Anyway, we're in game two. Game two in the top left hand corner this time. We have the Terran Lord coming around. He's the orange, uh, the Terran. He's sporting the Rainer's Raiders logo. Nice. And then down in the top uh, right hand corner this time, it is Lumia. He is representing Clan Allen. He is the one, number one guy. And he's sporting that uh, Carbot. Uh, uh -huh. uh, Carbot decal. Yeah. yeah These yeah. you guys. I wonder if, despite the Banshee being shot down hard last game, if um, Lumia is going to be like, screw it, like this is what I do every game anyway. Like he's just well, going to keep going doing that. Well, he's going double gas anyway. already. So yeah. Turn Lord isn't this time. Yeah, he's switching it up. Hmm. Which might be a mistake. We'll see. We'll see. Like that that double gas was kind of the reason why he got. The raven out so yeah, early the raven last was time. really useful for him last time, so I would say yeah. that was yeah, he's going for double gas well. now. A bit later, mm. but still. Also he's scouting. Congratulations, Kuro, there is no static this time. Apparently. Oh. Oh really? Nice. Cool. So yeah, once again, turn. 
Yeah, Definitely. Terran Lord scouts and Lumia doesn't. Oh, the scout is barely blocked though. Just mm -hmm. barely. Like, he only saw the wall, this but not much else. Like, just scout. barely he planted the depot. Well, at least he knows he's, uh, he's walling And now off. the Reaper is gonna finish off the SCV. So that was a pretty good deny. Starprot okay. coming up. This is totally gonna be Banshees, is it? Let's take your bets right now, Starport I bet. Starprot on both sides. Is it gonna be Raven uh, versus Banshee again? I, Maybe. I mean, um, Terran Lord's getting his tech lab on his factory, so... Yeah. Oh, he's getting a tank out, actually. Hmm. Right. Theory crafting, go, go, go. <laughs> What's, what are you making? You, you should be theory crafting, Jaku. You're the Terran here. We have no idea. Okay. BCs. Oh, a cycle moving out. Yeah, and he's going to switch his bags with his star pot again. Yes. Terror Lord actually going for a reactor this time. Oh, the Reapers win. Uh, yeah, this is bad. He's getting a reactor for double medevac. He's, go yeah. he's going for a drop. Oh. So he's not going to have anything for the Banshee. Yeah. So he won't have any detection? Yeah. That's not good. I think he's going to save this Harris. He does have scan in. Uh couple of minutes but uh yeah but that's like one scan and what then it's just like what i'm worried about is um the banshee's gonna go across the map and at the same time he's gonna, he's gonna oh, drop wait, so he's mind. gonna have no units yeah but instead he's getting double vikings instead of double medivacs which is oh. which is good like for him uh yeah if you can catch the banshee then yeah 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 Interesting. The Banshee is moving out. And he's making more Vikings. He's like just going for a like really, really strong push. Oh, on yeah. one base. He's already moving out. Yeah, the Banshee yeah. is coming out, but like the Vikings instantly spotted. And the cloak is not done yet. So the Vikings are gonna it, chase it the just... Banshee. Yeah, it just finished, but he has enough. He has enough energy for a scan. Yeah. So he should be fine. So Vikings should finish. So. Yep. No yeah, damage done. Yeah, and he was getting a missile turret, so yeah, like he was safe no matter what. I mean, the missile turret would take a while to get well, out, but yeah. The Benchy could. Have oh, they're both moving out. Yeah, yeah they're both moving out. They Are they gonna pass? Yeah, but each Turnlord. Other? Turnlord has the stronger army with the tanks. Though. Yeah, it like, is. What is this tank doing? This is risky. Ooh, uh, but he catches him stuck on siege. Yeah, no me has him first. Huge thing. This is two tanks versus one. <laughs> two tanks enter, one tank leaves. The Lumia coming in with the cloak banshee. Yeah. That tank did not survive for this. Yeah, he like ran right into this gun. Gonna work. Yeah, yeah, he's like, gonna finish this off. And what does Lumia have right now? A tank. A tank. Push is um, not that strong like, anymore, but still. Yeah, like Lumia had like the best fight he could have had. Like he caught Terran Lord on siege and even killed all three tanks. Even though Lumia had one tank, like he had like the best possible fight. But even with that, like it's still gonna be hard to push Terran Lord back. The Vikings give him vision on, on, the, on the day. Mm -hmm. uh, I would I would just land the Vikings on top of Lumia's tank, right? Like yeah, like they're gonna clearly, clearly. like there are only four Marines. But the other one doesn't know that. I mean, he has vision. Yeah. What are you doing, Lumia? <laughs> Why are these two landed? Uh, like, if, if yeah, he... save it from the other ones, but like, they're not gonna be too useful right now. Because if they fly, mm -hmm. then they just instantly die. Mm -hmm. He's as if he's desperately trying to repair that barracks, but yeah. actually, there's no follow-up. 
Yeah, like I, I just don't see how how he's gonna. What is he gonna do now? Yeah, Lumia is kind of. Like he literally have, have has enemy units in his base, and he's just like calmly mining. Tries to move out tanks. Tries to lift or uh, anything. Vikings. Um, Terran's taking his time trying to do this. Like, yeah, like, like I said, like he could. And now he yeah, lost like, the tank. This was a bit too far. Very much, uh, sort of a standard medievalish siege, siege tactic, just yeah. trying to start off the enemy. I just, I just Lumia don't like how long. Lumia has an SCV, so th that's that's good on his side. I really that don't like how think. long it's taking Turnlord to to fight. Like he's giving Lumia so much time now. He, before yeah. he only had one tank. Now Lumia has three. Like yeah, he's slowly uh, catching up. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Uh, I don't know about this. Doing? Walking in with the Vikings? That wasn't the best. I, now he's just I gonna. I think he land. just wasn't controlling. Like yeah, I think yeah, he just yeah. like walked them in. Or just like auto attack. And yeah, now Did the Vikings are gonna move in. Yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Turn Lord takes game two. Uh, so we're going into game three between Lumia and Terran Lord. Okay, let's go. All right, top left hand corner, you know this guy, he's Lumia. And at the bottom uh, right hand corner, you also know him. But if you don't, I'll introduce you to, uh, you can meet up for coffee or something, Terran Lord. Terran Lord. Yeah, um, the African player? Right, girl. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Not sure. Did we he just at least lives there. To him, South Africa. I don't know. South Africa. Did we just make that assumption? No, like that, we know that's, that. That's what we found out. Like we quickly yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I didn't ask him, so I don't know. <laughs> oh. Officially South African now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I if I'm Korean, according to Twitch chat, nothing is gonna surprise me. Um, Guess what? Lumia so, is going for double gas. So as always, Lumia doesn't scout. Something that's interesting is Terran Lord for once isn't yeah, scouting he either. Also isn't scouting. Um, I feel like I feel like after third game, he's just like, oh yeah, it's gonna be a bunch. <laughs> mm, mm, like maybe mm. maybe he's just like. Since he, since Lumia did that twice, maybe he just assumes that he's gonna do it every time. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what they say about assumption. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna assume yeah. you know what they say, so I'm not gonna explain. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I'm I'm pretty interested to see what Turnlord does because so far he's like done two different builds and both of them were able to deal with the Banshee. So like we'll, we'll see like if he does something that he's done before or he does something else. Like he has a lot more variety than Lumia, you know. Like so I want to see what he does. Oh, Lumia is checking for like proxies and stuff. Or maybe just going <laughs> yeah, around yeah. to avoid the scout. <laughs> I do honestly think though that against Lumia, because he doesn't scout, I feel like um, a proxy would do really well against him. Yeah, like by this time, like you could have. Like I feel like Kata would would beat him. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't like... it? <laughs> like with how she played against Kronos, I feel like. Because Kronos doesn't scout either. I, I wanted mm -hmm. to say that to him, like, dude, you never scout. What are you doing? Like, but yeah. Oh crap! Lumia's not getting a banshee. Yeah, this is a mess. He's getting a. Is he's getting gonna, a reactor. It's gonna be a, a cyclone drop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So 
so kind of the opposite of game one. Yep. Meanwhile, it looks like um, Terranlord is doing the same thing he did last game. Like, he's getting a reactor on his starport, and he's going to get out double Vikings. Um, and he's going to have two tanks out, so... Yeah, so that's going to be good enough. Like, he's mm -hmm. pretty defended. It just, it just depends if, um, like, he moves out or if he's oh, close he enough to defend. Mm -hmm. But, like, he doesn't know yeah. what left. I mean, he knows there's no Banshee, because there's no tech lab yeah, on the starport. Yeah, there's start no point. Banshee, there's but... No, like, like, that's all he knows pretty much. That there may be a drop. What angle is he going at? Oh, yeah. This one place. Ah, uh, turn, turn Lord's moving out. He's moving out. Ah, uh, no. Oh, the this timing. Is what I was worried about. The timing. And Lumia <laughs> doesn't have all that much defense, but by the time he arrives there, it's quite a big map. Ooh. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Okay, I like this, I like this. Terran Lord's committing. He's like, I'm not gonna run all the way back home. I'm I'm just gonna push anyway. Like he's gonna mean? lose all of this. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's all on this push. Make. He's only on uh, 18 minerals, but he can make more, actually. Mule drop, actually. Okay, here, yeah, here comes, comes the push, here comes the push. Oh. There's two tanks and two Vikings. Yeah. They're on siege, though. They're on siege. And the Lumia doesn't have any tanks. Yeah, okay. And he catches him, he catches him. Boom. Okay, Terran Lord should easily win this fight. Now how now how's he gonna go? Like Lumia still doesn't have any tanks at home. Like yeah, he's not making any. Nothing. I feel like Lumia should try to focus down on the uh command center. Well, I guess he also doesn't know how much uh how much resources Terran Lord has, so he <laughs> could be worried to make this happen. Yeah. Terran Lord should, should lift all his buildings and move. Yeah, like, like he should just. This single cycle is just finishing everything up. Yeah, 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 yeah. While well, Lumia, um, Lumia is not yeah, at home. Yeah, he's gonna be able to make more and bring him down. Yeah, yeah, he's moving his tanks up, he's moving his tanks up. Yeah, the single cycle is gonna do nothing. And he pulls the SCVs. Micro, no, dude. Oh, uh, Marines, the Marines. Help take out his own Marines. Yeah, this is He needs to on siege. He needs to on siege. He needs to on siege. Otherwise, he's gonna kill himself. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, he kills himself. Ah, uh, no. And now he doesn't have vision. Ah, uh, and he doesn't have anything at home. Like, he, he wasn't even dropping mules for income or. And, and uh, the cyclone is still shooting. Slow yeah. and steady. Slow and steady. So, in the end, it was, was pretty much a micro mistake. Yeah. <laughs> if Terran Lord controlled that just a little bit better, like he would have, he would have won that game. Like. Yeah. And and if he handled his main base a little bit better, like he could have lifted up and just moved, and then just tried to mine a little bit more. You know, like because he had energy, he had energy on his CC yeah. to pull down mules and stuff like that. Like. Mm -hmm. I mean. The medivac is still moving quite fast, so I assume if Lumia noticed that he's moving out, he would like follow it. Like, I mm. I'm not sure if that would work. I mean, he could even just lift his buildings and bring them over to his army. Like... Yeah, he could. <laughs> yeah, GG. GG. So what do we have next? Uh, Supro versus me, and Yaku's going to get dinner. So are you just gonna speak alone about your own game? <laughs> hey, you're here too. You're here too. Uh, here we okay, go. I just realized something. I have no one to do the introductions now. What are you talking about? Take it away, Kuro. No, you do it. <laughs> you do it. In the top left, we have the team captain of Cranky, Light VIP. The bottom right, we have Super. 
<laughs> you need a clan, Super. You need a clan. I was thinking, like, the most amazing introduction. what should I say? <laughs> what should I say? The pink Pratos player. Super into this. Super into this. Should also check out his YouTube channel. Uh, but yeah. So. It is gonna be annoying. Oh, pull first. No gas. What are they doing? Um. Yeah, yeah. I threw down a pull first because of his probe. I think. Not quite sure. I don't know I what I was saying. I think you threw the pull before that. Before we even saw it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you were just yeah. going cheesy, aren't you? No, no, I'm pretty sure it was a mistake. I'm pretty sure it was a mistake. Yeah, like, what's good into you always play macro. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, super. It's on SC2 improve. Okay, okay. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, we need to add that. We need to add that. I mean, I have the, um. I have the written down. <laughs> Okay, okay. But yeah, he was really annoying with his pylon and his probe and stuff, so he really delayed um, my natural, which is really good for him. Um, yeah, because he already really has the nexus. Like, it's not done yeah. yet, but he, he has nexus faster than you have a hatchery. Yeah, but luckily I went pull first. Yeah, I had pull first anyway. So I, I <laughs> already have my links out to <laughs> do some damage. Um, so I'm sending my links across the map. Um, I'm going around the long way, just in case they run into an adept or something. Um. <laughs> I'm going the long way because, like, because of the way this um, map works, um, it's really easy to just wall off this ramp here. So I'm going in through the other way because there's like two entrances to the natural. Um, and yeah, I wasn't sure how he'd wall off, but he has no wall. Like, it's not done. Um, so I go in, I focus on the pylon, I focus on the adapt. Uh, I try and do as much damage as I can. Yeah. And yeah, now I'm just like rallying as, as much as I can over as many lings. Um, because Super was being pretty greedy. That is not gonna work though. See the mother should go out. Yeah, I think I killed like six or seven probes. Like, I ended up killing a lot of probes doing this. Six. Seven. Six. Seven probes. Seven total. Seven <laughs> probes and adepts and the pylon? No, I didn't kill the pylon. And still railing yeah, like, things. Yeah, yeah, like I was feeling pretty good after that. I was like, okay, okay. Um but I, I, have to I did teach make you how to link flat, jeez. <laughs> I made too many lings and my speed was late. Um, yeah, like it's so. Oh. The problem is that all of these lings are kind of a waste. Like it would have been better if they were all drones, basically, because now they can't do anything. Like yeah. his his wall is sealed. Um, <clears throat> and now I'm trying to drone up. Like, you know, I don't have an Evo chamber to drop with my lings or anything like that. Like I just. Oh, I just a dark shine. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be fun. Um, I scout it though, like my overlord can see it, um, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so I throw down an Evo um, to drop. It's really late though, uh, but you know, I, I want to try and do as much as I can because I feel like he doesn't have a lot of army. Um, mm. But he still has more probes than I do. Like his his economy is better. Like I just, yeah, I messed up. Messed up. Mm -hmm. Ah, worthy. So, was super going for like drop DTs or just archons? Um, I think he just goes archons. Like it's pretty common to just yeah, get the I DTs know, just to make archons. Yeah. yeah. I mean, drop DTs would be pretty, pretty effective as well. <laughs> Except you do I mean, make I already spores. Have... Yeah, you do make spores. Yeah, I already so... have. I already have spores ready. Oh, the slow I drop. Oh, the slow drop. Okay. <laughs> Mothership car just standing there. 
yeah, after I see the mothership core that's already there waiting, um, I just back off. Uh, yeah, and I just try and drone up. Drone up. Um, I've got my red horn down, and yeah, just ZVPs. So I'm probably gonna go red hydro. Mm. Meanwhile, DT. Mm -hmm. Here comes the war prison, and the DTs. But I already have spores ready. Um, but I really need a third base. Like, I'm yeah, just, like he's already I'm taking just... a third. Like as yeah, a Zerg, yeah, that's a really, really bad situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always want sure. to be a base up. And I'm also um like I don't have a lair, so I'm worried about getting a third because if I try and make a third, he can just deny it with DTs. Um, because I don't have mobile detection, so my lair isn't done. So I'm just worried about that as well. Like. And yeah, he comes in with his own comes. Push it away, but like, he gets a lot of value, like he kills lings and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And finally I'm getting my finally third base. Third. Which is really late. And also he's going yeah. around with the Archons, so he can attack at the third. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do, I guess. Going in. And my spore is late, like if he tries to go into my main. Um, but he didn't. So it's okay. It's okay. The poor prism range. But at this point, he's already fully saturated on three bases, and my third isn't even done. Like, I'm just. Yeah. I'm just behind. Like just you know, economic, economy, like... economically. Yeah, yeah. Got my hydralis then up. But yeah. I guess in this position, like it's probably better if I like threw down two bases or something, like just something to try and get ahead, or mm. try and stabilize. I mean, yeah, Supra isn't that aggressive, except for the two Arhons just going around every now and then. Yeah. Like, other than that, he, like, plays pretty passive. Yeah, but he's coming in with the push now, with, um, sentries and immortals. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he has... He has the army advantage on me. Um, so I'm getting ready. I'm throwing down spines. I see the army. Uh, and I'm also getting a lurker then, but yeah, I don't think it's going to be ready in time for the attack. Depending on how long he takes. <laughs> Look at the chat. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I saw. My PVC isn't that great. It's not that great. But yeah. My CVP is decent, I would say. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's decent. My ZBZ is the best, funnily enough. Even though I don't mm. like Link Wayne. But yeah, he's taking his time. To attack. Um, I'm getting lurkers out, which I feel like is I feel like is like my only way to to stop the attack. Um, because he doesn't have any he detection. Does have, he does have an observer though. Is it with his army? Yeah. Oh, it is. Ah, right. yeah, yeah. It's been he's, he's been circling around the bases for a while now. Ah, right, right. So I managed to hold on a little bit, but he's already getting his fourth base up. So am I, but again, like he's ahead. My lurkers are exposed. 
Yeah, and the roaches are all stuck behind. Like, part of the army is not, uh, not fighting. Yeah, like, even if, it, even if they were, like... Even if they were, it would be probably a lost fight. But, like, that yeah, didn't just happen. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. That's GG. That's GG. It was just too far ahead, economically wise. <laughs> By the way, Super, yeah. it's like almost an inside joke that like I like to link flood and like I link flood a lot and generally I like to be aggressive with the links and light doesn't. So when we play Archon, it's always funny. Because I want to link that and he doesn't want to cheese or anything. Yeah, yeah. I still feel like the mistake was, even though I did a lot of damage with those early wings, like, I should have just droned up behind it. I should have, instead of making wings. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't end up doing anything. Um, yeah. And if I had droned up, then I would have been in a better position. But yeah. Somehow they GMR, <laughs> yep. On we are, we are, we are GMR God. It's true. <laughs> and yeah, game two, game two. Yako, are you here? You here? I think he's eating. Yes, I'm here. I am eating though. So. Uh, okay. Okay. Do you want to do the uh, can... intro? Do you want to do the intro? Also, he's part of Clan SE to improve. Yeah. Ooh. Top. All right, top right hand corner of the screen, we have a uh, light VIP who's representing Clan Cranky. And then on the bottom left hand corner, we have Sephrodivis, who is actually uh, part of Clan SC2 crew, but not in this server, apparently. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna continue eating now. <laughs> nice, nice. Fast scout. Mm -hmm. He always does this to. Uh, like, that's how he was there so early to, like, deny yeah. a hatchery and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Also, also, Supra, Link Flood is pretty effective in silver, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I need to do, yeah. really. I threw it in a hatch, and I even, like, brought a Link, um, a drone over. Yeah. But, yeah. This time you were, you were safe. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'm also going for a scout. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this time I go hatch first. I play, like... As I normally do. Um, Super is, you know, messing with minerals and like making me slightly more ineffective. Oh, uh, and yeah. Oh, a day. Mm hmm. <laughs> <Tom> <laughs> yeah, he sees that I don't go for like a fast third or anything like that. Um, I scout, I see only one gas, you know, gateway, cyber core. Okay. Like, pretty simple. Yeah. Pretty normal, pretty normal. Mm. Yeah, I could like this pretty big map. Mm hmm, mm hmm. I like the careful scouting, <laughs> like, if, if the probe didn't leave anything behind. Yeah, 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 I was just making sure, I was just making sure. I got a nice place though, so... Yeah. Um, oh, he actually throws down a Stargate. Which is pretty interesting. Um, and I throw down the Evo Chamber, so on Acolyte, I'm... I think my go-to on Alan Acolyte specifically is like drop where the third is. Yeah. Like... Cause. Um. Yeah. This is a dead space, so if you don't have anything, watching over. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't have like a pylon or anything here. Yeah. Um, like if we remember my game against Azalus, like she did, like even in the in the game where she, her pylon was late, like, you know, like that was her plan anyway to have a pylon in the dead space mm -hmm. just in case that happened. Yeah, Acolyte has a lot of dead space everywhere. Like the bases are very droppable. Oh, uh, uh, and he moves out with his oracle. Yeah. yeah. Did he see? Uh, I already have. I'm not sure. Um, I already I have spores ready looking. because I didn't scout, and I normally throw down spores at like three yeah. minutes thirty. Um, so they're already ready. And then I go in with my overlord. Why are the links coming back though? Um, I think like I might have thought it was a warp prism or something, uh, but see. yeah, it's an oracle. Meanwhile. Yeah, the Oracle died without doing any damage. Um, but at yeah, the same but you time, also I... killed seven workers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, he didn't have his mothership core ready for a photon overcharge or anything like that. Yeah, and there's um, one. And yeah, <laughs> he's just going oracles, more and more oracles. The links will be easily defended. Another oracle is yeah, chilling yeah. here. But at this point, I'm like feeling okay. Like I killed some probes. His oracles didn't do anything. Like throw down my third base. Both of you do. Um. Yeah, yeah. Mine's slightly faster, but. Oh, the oracle yeah, I think is from here in. we just. You won't be able to do much. Oh, yeah, sadly. Very... Yeah. <laughs> Should have picked better place though. And he's got another oracle coming in. Yeah. I see. It. I like that he's trying to go for stats words or stasis words. Stats words. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We 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 watched DSL, right? Yeah. You know the stats words. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. but. Yeah, unfortunately, like, I already had spores. But yeah. Oh, he's more careful this time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the spine crawler hits. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> that is so lucky. Does that, does that use up the energy of the oracle when that happens? I don't know. I'm actually not sure. Hmm. Um, we need but yeah, we're like. <laughs> <laughs> We're just smackering up, getting on three bases. That is true, that is true. Light is just always staying us to get spoiled. Yeah. But he's still going with all these oracles. Like, I don't think I ever scouted his main base, and he's going up to three stargates. Like, yeah. Like, uh, I'm a bit annoyed at myself because if I had seen this, I would have thrown down a spire, you know? Mm -hmm. Instead, because I didn't see anything. I'm just going for Roach Hydra, and against like Carriers and Tempests and like, you know, Sky Toss, Hydras yeah. can be okay, but... Yeah, uh... it very much depends. Like, sometimes Hydras are yeah. not enough. Yeah, for sure. Like, if I'd, if I'd seen this, I would have thrown down a Spire and gone Corruptors. Oh, of course it's a Carrier. Yeah, and here come the Carriers. Um, in the meantime, he's tagging, he's tagging my army. Mm -hmm. He's useful, he's killing queen. a Queen. Oh, I transfuse. Nope. Getting a fourth space. Um, do I have hive? No, I don't have hive. Um, but yeah, I'm just draining up. I could be doing a lot better with my upgrades and stuff like that. Um, I mean, you have better have upgrades either. than he does. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Um, I'm also because I saw those oracles, like I'm throwing down even more spores. Like I'm just <laughs> afraid. <laughs> just wanna make sure they didn't do anything. Um and yeah, like I'm ahead of army supply, like I'm I'm doing okay. I just don't know about the triple stargate. I don't know that carriers are coming. Triple like, carriers. And the mothers. Yeah, the like world. like they I'm just not prepared. I'm just not prepared for that. Like Yeah, yeah. I just have a lot of faith in my hydras. 
My mind is still it. blown by that single spine crawler destroying the study strap. Like it was just so well placed. Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> exactly, Yaku, exactly. Um, my overload placement also isn't that great. Like, I can see his fourth base coming up, which is pretty good. Um, and that's normally the trigger. Like, that's the trigger of me, like, attacking to deny it. Um, but he tagged my army, so I'm, like, afraid. Like, he knows where my army is, so I'm like, I, I guess I can't attack now, like... Meanwhile, he's just messing up carriers. <laughs> yeah, and adepts. He's, that's the thing, yeah, he's not just adepts. going carrier. He's going Mass Adepts, which is really good because if I'm going Mass Hydra, then the Adepts are like all you need, you know, like, or if I'm going Hydra Roach, like, yeah. And time to move out. And he also has defensive stasis traps, which yeah. is really good. Like, yeah, that's pretty he, useful. Couldn't, he couldn't find like any damage done, so he's like, he uses them defensively, which is really good. So at this point, I see the Mothership Core, I see the carriers. Um, I throw down my uh, Spire, because I know, like, straight up, I need... I, I can't just use Hydras, I need something more. I need Corruptors. Yeah, but or Vipers, the carriers are right? gonna be there soon. Yeah, and I'm, uh, I'm getting Hive as well. Uh, and yeah, like, you know, I've got four bases, like... I've... I've got more income, like it looks okay, but carriers, man. <laughs> carriers in the depths. Yeah, yeah, I could have also thrown down a Bane Nest. Like, the thing is, I don't know about the Adepts because they were all invisible. I just assumed he was going mass Sky Toss. Um, I didn't know about the ground army. That's the thing, like, I, I just wasn't aware. Um, Otherwise, yeah, I would have tried to do something else. I just didn't have very good scouting this game. <laughs> and yeah, I throw down a, a bunch of spores. I'm like, he's coming. Like, with his massive sky army. I just need all these spores ready for when he comes. Um, and I maxed out. Uh, which is why I'm sending out my roaches. Because I'm like, they're useless. Yeah, they can't shoot with sky so I just, I just need the supply. Cause again, like, I'm maxed out and I have my spire, my spire. I don't have enough supply to make any corruptors. Like, I, I just need to get rid of supply. Funnily enough, if you did get to make corruptors, it would went better because the other wouldn't be able to do anything. Yeah, I mean, except but, like, destroy your base. Exactly. Exactly. But, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, um, I see he's getting down his fifth. I'm also getting down mine. Mine is faster. I'm um, getting a bunch of corruptors. I'm getting upgrades for my corruptors. I'm getting 3 3. Um, but I think I have too many drones. Like, I'm maxed out in supply, but my army isn't that big. Like, I don't know. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I just feel like I have too much army supply in drones, maybe. Mm. I don't know. I mean, not really. Like, your bases are properly saturated. Anyway, he he moves out with his army. Um, huh. And my spores aren't in position. They're on the right. Where... Yeah, <laughs> he has an observer here even. Yeah. My spores are all over on the right instead of the left, which is where he's going. Which is a bit unfortunate, like... But yeah. Like, if you look at our banks, like, we both have massive banks, but at the end of the day, it just comes down to this massive fight. Um, and then, yeah, we go. He he isn't fighting with his adepts, though, and his yeah. zealots. They come from it. Yeah, yeah. And my army gets surrounded. Uh, and yeah, like, again, I feel like I killed most of the interceptors. It's just the ground army just... Yeah, the guy that 
and all of these spores were useless because like, they weren't. Yeah. Like this was nothing bad. But all these, all these spores were useless because they weren't in the fight. Like they were to the side and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, so it's just GG from here. Like basically. I'm trying to remax and stuff, but... Yeah, on Hydra. Yeah, and 3-3 finishes just now. See, 3-3 finishes after the fight ends, you know, like... The anti if I was more on top of my... Yeah, yeah, if I was more on top of my upgrades that... Or if, if Super had taken just a little bit longer, maybe the upgrades would have done more for me. Um, but yeah. You actually barely pushed him away, but you lost so much. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And now I'm trying to just go for... Yeah, but there are cannons. A cannon. Yeah, but there are cannons. So it's like... It's kind of useless. Ooh, cannons. <laughs> yeah. Like really, he could just kill all my hydras with his ground army, I guess. But yeah, it's just... GG. Yeah, and now because you have barely any drones, actually. The main is mine out. Yeah, yeah to do. Yeah. yeah, like. No, that was really good from Super. Like, if I just mm -hmm. had better scouting, like, if I had just known of a couple of things sooner and stuff like that, like, my army composition would have been better. Like, again, like, I maxed out on kind of like a bad composition against what he had. Stuff like that. Like,. But yeah. Question about the overlay. Mm -hmm. Why is light O in 4? What? Well, I'm looking oh. at the stream right now. Light is O in 4. Oh, and the overlay. Because I accidentally pressed the thing and apparently that's how you change scores. Because I don't remember oh. how to change scores. Now we move on to the losers. Round 4, right? Uh, I think Kronos is studying right now. Otherwise, we could we could have Kronos because because he played well. He played well. <laughs> Wait, didn't we? Oh yeah, because he did beat Kata. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he beat Kata, so he moved on to face me because I lost against Super. Mm -hmm. uh... All right. Now I have and, a question. Yeah, this is... Does anybody know how to change the scores on the layout? <laughs> I no idea. No idea. Come on. Okay. Yay. Everybody, pitch in. Okay, uh, introduction. <clears throat> For the, like, I don't know, tenth time? I don't know how many times I introduced this guy. Well, in the top left hand corner, we got Light VIP. And on the bottom right hand corner, I've introduced him a few less times, but still quite a bit of times, the Blue Terran, Kronos. Mm -hmm. The team kill. The team kill. Mm -hmm. uh, the worst kind of team kill, because, you know, going into this, we're like, Kronos, we'll meet in the finals. We'll meet in the finals. We can do this. We can do this. And we end up facing here, like, uh, rip the dream. Rip the dream. Um... But yeah, like cool. <laughs> this is the the first time we ever play each other. Like, I have no idea how you like how each other play and stuff. Uh. Is yeah. he gonna go for BC though? <laughs> he did say he did say that he likes doing that yesterday. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I mean, you like kind of. You got of him with the scout! Stuff. What's yeah, that? But... What was that? He just opened up for you. Like, and you were behind the wall, he just opened yeah. up. 
I don't end up scouting much, but yeah, I was just yeah, being annoying with my have. drone and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, this game I'm going pretty centered. Hatch first, and pool, then gas. Um, Kronos is going double gas, which goes into what he does Bad. later on, I guess. <laughs> Battle cruisers, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I like that he's not minding the SUV at all. But yeah, I guess something interesting here is that Kronos, again, doesn't make a Reaper. Like, yesterday we were talking to him and he said that he you know, doesn't, he doesn't like make Reapers. Reapers. Yeah, mm. he doesn't. He just doesn't like he controlling doesn't them like because the, of the mic. He doesn't like using it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I, I get um, that, that's just how I don't like banning. Like, I, I, I just cannot use them. They're bad. But unlike his series against uh, Lumia, um, he did scout. He did scout his SCV at the beginning of the yeah, game. Yeah, he did. It was kind of a later scout, but he still did scout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I poked at the front, I saw a bunch of uh, marines, so I was like, oh, okay, he's, I guess he's going bio, right? It's a bunch of marines. Um, I throw down a banding nest. Um, and yeah, I just keep macroing up. Keep macroing up. Nothing, nothing too special. Mm -hmm. But um, that's like what I thought was happening. But we see um, a second reactor going down. I mean, sorry, second factory going down. It's gonna be me. Uh, Mm. Yeah, yeah. Kronos is a dirty mech player. Oh yeah, I remember uh, no. you saying that now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Crazy. I didn't know that going in, but he he's a mech player. Uh -huh. Um but yeah, he comes in with a drop. And he's just mm. scared away. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, a queen! Oh. <laughs> Good. Yeah, like his natural's kind of late. Like he said on one base for pretty long. Like mm -hmm. yeah. I'm already fully saturated on two bases pretty much. And, and he's, he's just only just now. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just pretty just pretty standard timing. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, for you, Echo. But yeah, he's getting a third factory down, and yeah, I just, I'm not sure, like, because Kronos is diamond, you know, he's diamond, he played really well against Lumia. I don't know why he stayed on one base for so long, but that's kind of why I wish, I wish I knew why he was, like, I want to talk to him, I want to ask him, right? I want to ask him what, what he was thinking, like, what he was doing, what his plan was. Um, or if it was just a mistake, like, I don't know. Maybe because, because of that, like, well, maybe maybe he was just so traumatized by Kata that he he wasn't able to play anymore. Maybe, maybe that's true. Yeah. This is just after Kata. That's true. Like this is yeah, this is the series right after Kata DT. I mean, like, DTSD is a very real problem. Like world. maybe that's why he stayed on the base. Like you know, careful now, careful. Like anybody can anybody can fight you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like maybe that's why he going down the missile turrets. Yeah, yeah. Like maybe yeah. that's even why he SCV yeah. scouted because maybe. if we remember, he he never he did scouted against scout Kata. Kata. Yeah, and that, that's that's mm -hmm. what happened. Yeah. So I yeah, think I think so... that maybe actually actually the result of Kata, like yeah. this is the panic. Do you see what you've done, Kata? Uh... Yeah, that that right. might be legit. Like, because he is playing like very safe. Okay. You know, that's a little bit odd. 
I mean, typically it'd be a hellbat drop, but yeah, yeah. Do save a little bit of time by dropping the hellions instead of like sending them across the map. I yeah, mean, that's awesome. already. Uh, yeah, but we are prepared in every base. Yeah. So that's not gonna end the match. These banelings are scary right here. And again, because I saw the marines in the beginning, I'm going Ling Bane. Because I'm like, oh, he's going by it. But if we see, like, he's got a bunch of tanks, he's got a bunch of aliens, a bunch of cyclones, like... He has no yeah, intention he just of made doing that. a bit of marines at the beginning, and then he's just going back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm just getting my third base up. I'm getting upgrades. Um... Throwing down my hydro hydro done right now. Right now. Cause you know, yeah. Cause my go-to against Bio is Ling Bane Hydra. Um, I don't like Ling Bane Muta as much anymore. Mm. That used to be my go-to, but I just like my Hydras. By just the way, like how hydra. did you get to know that he's going more back? cost efficient? Well, I didn't just tell. Then why did you why did you go Hydra? Against Bio. Against Bio, ah. I go Ling Bane Hydra. You said Mac. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I misspoke. Against against Bio, I go Ling Bane. No, he said Bio. Against Mac, I go like Rich, Prompter. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So he's moving out. Um, I still don't know that it's Mac, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, now he's saying. Yeah. Yeah. My creep spread is decent, so I like have vision of all of this. The bangs! And yeah, like he doesn't have hellbats, so I just like A move in and just crush everything. Yep. <laughs> and this is why I hate banglings. Yeah. I mean again, like my army is just was just bigger in every way, I have yeah, more economy. Yeah, it's basically like, bigger. Just because from the beginning, like he was playing so safe that he kind of screwed himself, you know, like, I was just so far ahead. Um, just because of the way he was playing. It's gonna yeah. be fair now, but, like, you're, you're gonna... Better. You're gonna destroy it, probably. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I have vision, because I have an overload there. Yeah, I know. Like, I have overload everywhere, just in case. So, like... Probably gonna be the nice. Ah! Um, but yeah, it's also, like, I also want to ask him, like, he should have hell Hellbats, right? Like, I don't know, he didn't turn any of his Hellions into yeah, Hellbats and stuff like it. that, like. It's making more factories. <laughs> now he's building second armory. But yeah. Hellbats would be pretty effective with all the links. I actually don't even think he has enough economy to, like, actually use all those factories, like, once they finish being yeah, made. Yeah, I like... don't think so, like, even now, some of them are not building anything. Yeah. He's taking another base. He hasn't got an, any SCVs in the third, but he's taking another base. And on yeah, the low yeah. ground. Like... <laughs> I feel like, like I don't know the way he played, but knowing now, if I were him, I would have tried to make a ninja. Massacre, like, bloodbath, instead carnage, of building it here, I would have like, just tried to sneak one away. Um, I have overwords everywhere, but you know, like, if I was in his shoes. Well, you say that, but were you just DT rush? <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. That's what. I, I, I think guess. I think actually the psychological factor was a big one here. Yeah. With yeah. how he played. Like, sure. I told you, Kata specializes in trauma dodge people. When they play <laughs> Really I should thank Kata. Really I should thank Kata. I should thank Kata. Yeah, it's true. Well, you should you should arrest her for war crimes. <laughs> Yeah, and now he's contained on one base, so... Uh, yeah, yeah. at this... And you're taking at it this for... Point. 
so... Yeah, yeah, pretty much. You just have to be careful about the tanks. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why I don't like just run in because he has a bunch of tanks. Like. Yeah, tanks are so painful. But yeah, anything that moves moves out. Yeah. So here I just I'm just making nothing but links, pretty much. And yeah, it just takes me a while. Cause, Thank you, know, you Rico, I don't, Like, I don't want to throw the games. I'm just, like, mm -hmm. stepping back and, like, making as much army as I can. I mean, you do have better economy for sure, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, was, I was just playing it safe. And... Oh, shit. Also, that feeling when I tried to switch your to your vision and suddenly TB speaks. Uh huh. Uh huh. And he's like three times as loud as everything else. <laughs> so, there you go, stream. Yeah, yeah. Here we go in game two. He picked Acolyte. Um, go ahead, Yako. <laughs> And on the bottom left hand side of the screen, if you don't know him, fucking know him already. He is Terran Clan Cranky Kronos. Korean Terran. Korean Terran. And on the top right hand corner of the screen, he is also from Clan Cranky. You should also already know him, but if you don't, he is the best coach at Southeast Asia. He is like VIP. Um, Kuro? Mm hmm I think you're on the wrong scene. Am I? Yeah. Damn it. Well, that was a good introduction. I think you might have been on the wrong scene for a while. Uh, no. Only for okay. this game. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> it's all because you started it so suddenly, I was like... Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. I was okay. checking if stream is fine, and, and you're like, yeah, why are you not here yet? And I forgot to switch the scenes and everything. Stream is ruined now. <laughs> so what I was gonna say, what I was gonna say was, this is um, this is Cronus's pick, right? Um, and it makes sense because Acolyte, it's really easy to get three paces, you know? And if you're going mech, then that's like... It's the dream, you know. You want you want your three bases. You want. he didn't let you in. So sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this time he didn't let me in. He learned his lesson. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't trust <laughs> his lies. And he's scouting, like. Yeah, he's scouting yeah. and taking a command center behind it. I'm telling you, Kata just makes sure that Terran <laughs> learn how to scout. Actually, actually, if anyone is not scouting, let them just play versus Kata, and they will learn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go scout after that. For sure. Yeah, he um. gets a good scout of the whole base. Yeah, I feel oh, like... Oh, nice guy. <laughs> I feel like moving forward, I, I like... I want to see how Kronos progresses, because like again, like he'll miss beat Lumia. Like mm -hmm. he's he's learning, like as in like he's scouting more and stuff. Like again, if he scouted versus Lumia, like the Banshees and stuff like that, like mm -hmm. he would have done better. Like, yeah. Are you going for a drop um, again? Yeah, I'm sending my links all the way around because I don't know how he plays, and I was assuming that a Reaper was coming, but. Huh. He doesn't like Reapers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sending them the long way around. I have to say I have to say the second edition of this tournament should be so interesting because now we know how everybody plays. Mm. Exactly, exactly. Like we know Lumia's T V T, we know Kronos is like Reapers, we know Scout Kata, like Yeah, like, like we're starting to stuff. like know the players' well, play style. So this, this should be interesting. 
Here's the thing though, now everybody knows each other's playstyle, so they're gonna try to switch up yeah, the playstyle. Yeah, so they want to play this. <laughs> and th yeah, that's, where, yeah. that's where the mind games begin. <laughs> you thought I was gonna switch up my playstyle, but in the end, I was not. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's kind of why like I hope that we get regulars for the cranky tournament. Like everyone keeps coming back, and like you know we will get to know each other a bit more, like our playstyles and stuff. Like it'll be interesting how it goes. Especially because going into the first um, cranky tournament, like a lot of people just assumed that Lumia would just roll over everyone, but that that didn't happen. And now that everyone knows how he plays, like you know, well, I anyone love can win. I lost five bucks betting on Terran Ward, but. Uh huh. More links. More links. Uh, yeah. So I'm going for a job. I'm going for a job. Yeah, I do. Because it. it's Acolyte. It. Because Acolyte. Because yeah. it's Acolyte. Yeah, because Acolyte. It's Acolyte. Um, he has his Marines ready over here, um, which is good if I decided to drop there, but. Yeah, I'm but going you for... did it. Yeah. <laughs> also, that slow drop. The slow drop is so painful. <laughs> At least it's not it true drop where he like loaded the queens and went through the whole map. Yeah. And overload speed just finished mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, I kill like two or three SUVs. It's not that great. Three. Like, three, yeah. It's something, I guess. Yeah, yeah. it's some damage, but like. Meh. Also, I would say every drop also counts like as a psychological advantage because like now he has to think about oh he can drop so like I have to be prepared here. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. So now he's maybe even overreacting to missile turrets. Um, again, something else that's that'll be interesting is like because I played so much TVTs, especially like TVTs? I don't make muters. Say so... TVTs. Yeah, TVTs, TVTs. Um, but like I don't make meters, and like if people know that, then they don't have to worry about like missile turrets and stuff like that. You know, like there are those like little things. So I you, don't now you know. Next turn, then you should all. play muters. I don't trust you at all. <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> Next tournament, two base muter every game. Every game. He's not gonna play muter again. <laughs> Um, but, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, again, um Kronos is going mech. That's that's what yeah, he does. Same what he does. composition, it's just Hellions and tanks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like once again the, a... the starting marines are just for um, defense. This time. Yeah. And he has a Viking going around killing overlords. Yes. Um, he has three kills so far, which is pretty good. Pretty useful. Good job, Viking. Yeah. Like, again, like, he's just playing so much better this game. Like, he's got his two bases. Um, he only got, like, a little damage dealt to him with the drop. He's denying my vision, so I don't know when he expands for his four, um, third or fourth base. Like, uh, he's doing really well this game. A Hellion drop is coming up. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't know about the mech as well. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, like I saw the Marines. Scout again. Yeah, yeah. Like I saw the Marines and I dropped, but I didn't. I didn't see the production. Um, so again, I'm going Ling Bane, um, Hydra. And yeah, he's going for a Hellion drop. Uh, that this was not it. Feels a bit decisive. Like that, Madiba could have a lot more health. Uh, how many drones did he kill? Did he kill any? Uh, two. Two. Okay, kill two. And yeah, his Viking is just getting more work done. Like yeah, the Viking killed the Viking. a lot of overloads. Yeah, five it's, kills. It's so still far. going around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, you have no overload vision. Mm-hmm. I'm still not sure it's mech, by the way, because he dropped, um, he dropped Hellions, but often yeah, but when Hellions you play bio, happen. you make, yeah, yeah, you make 
aliens when you play by as well, and like you, in the beginning. So. You literally know nothing about his base. Yeah, yeah. Be because my overlords all died as well. Yeah. Like, even if I tried, like, yeah. Again, he's just playing the snap really well. Um, but I'm fully saturated on three bases. He's only now getting his third. Um, so I have the better economy. He has he's the bigger army. He's much more though. prepared than the last game, though. Like last game was for sure, more for chaotic. sure. Ah, uh, and he's gonna. He's gonna oh, that bad you. Uh, uh, unlucky, lucky, lucky queen placement. Yeah, Planned. and he, Planned. he wasn't looking, I guess. Yeah, but yeah. Even, even if he tried to micro, I think it would die anyway. Like, just, it was just in the range. Yeah. So now I'm getting my fourth base up. Um, I'm getting 2 2, I'm getting Hive eventually. I already have the infestation pit. I mean, why? Uh, I still don't. Chronos is trying to move out. Yeah, yeah. And now's a good moment, like, he has a bigger army supply, like, I'm kind of focusing on economy right now. He's very careful, though. Mm -hmm. He's expecting something. And I still don't know it's mech. Mm -hmm. <laughs> still don't know it's mech. You know nothing about it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how many bases he's on. None of that. I'm just trying to macro up and... You know, be safe for a bio attack that isn't coming. Oh, sad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The attack that never came. He's, he's getting a fourth base. Oh, is he getting a ninja? I didn't. I never even knew. Holy crap! Look at the bottom right. He's getting a ninja. Ah, he likes I getting never ninja. even knew. Yeah, he yeah. Likes ninja bases, we as we learned yesterday. That. All right, the last game was just uh, just shaking the rust off. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah. he's back in it. Yeah, now, now, now he's back to being Kronos. Because he's taking it. He's now, like, Wait a minute, this isn't Kata. I can do this. Now that I finally have um, Hydras and anti-air, like, now if you look at the minimap, like, I'm sending out overloads. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I need to I need to know stuff, right? Like, And now, only now you found out what his army is. Also, yeah, you sent yeah, his over yeah. the overload here to make sure he doesn't have another base. But... Yeah, yeah. Um, immediately when I saw his army, um, I threw down the spire. Threw down the spire. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get um, brew lords. Like that's that's my plan. I'm gonna get brew lords out. Mm. Um, One thing that I noticed from Kronos is that his cyclones did not lock on to the uh, the observer, the overseer. The yeah. Overlord. yeah. So. Could be telling. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe. I'm still blown away by this bottom right base, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, Kronos is he's pushing. He's pushing. He's coming in. Um, that was uh, a bit of a move move command. For a second. Yeah, yeah. For a second, I I knew he commanded. He but didn't I killed see all the his. Time, though, so. Yeah, he's unseaged, which is good for now, but. Then he sieges. Yeah, when he sieges. I killed most of his army. Yeah. At least that. Yeah. I basically kind of cleaned it up, but. Almost. Yeah. 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 I like mean, his, like, like you, you can almost, you can probably remark fast enough to stop this. Yeah, yeah. Like he's probably not gonna move in more. He's just leapfrogging. I'm trying to remax. Getting upgrades, up. got my hive. Set up a siege. It, it, it will take him much much longer to like remake that army than for you to relax. Yeah, but I just I just don't really have a a good army composition. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Again, I've just got Ling Bane Hydra. Because um, once again, you thought that was bio, despite him playing mech last time. Holy crap! Look, he's getting two more bases down there. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus All Christ! All the bases. What? The planetary, he is... He wants to stay in this game no matter what. Do you, do you yeah. remember that game? Was it Sky High? I think it was Sky High where he planted like over 20 command centers just for scans, I think. Yeah, yeah. Scans yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Sky High, it was Sky High. Against Soki, maybe. I, I don't remember who it was. Yeah. But I remember that it was Sky High with like over 20 command centers, just one next to the other. Yeah, yeah. 
Jesus. But yeah, just then, like, I just tried to attack um, his tanks with my lings and reinforcements and stuff, mm -hmm. but I just, it just didn't work out, and oh, I don't have a lot of economy right now. Like, hey, Chronos. Like, as in, I, I, oh, Chronos is here. Hey, hey, why are you so late? <sighs> we wanted you to come earlier. Oh, look, it's also a mm. fortress with WCC next to it. Yeah. yeah. It's well protected. We need to get him in and ask him about that first. Yeah, Kronos, you need to explain the bottom right of this map. What's happening? Yeah, What's uh, happening, What is Kronos? this? What is this? <laughs> uh, yeah, comes in, I, I just... The Hydra's melts. Uh, it's just... Like, yeah, he, uh, he's just... This is... Like, he's, he's not quite... I would say, but like, you just can't touch him. Yeah, it's just bad for my part. Like, I've had that spire and high for so long, I I never got the greater spire. Like, I just kind of mm. forgot about that idea. Like, yeah. I I should have. Like, if I was just thinking about about it a bit more, like, but yeah. Around by. Yeah, I find some some kills. I'm. I'm hoping that he comes back. Like I'm trying to distract him, you know. Like, I, like where he is right now, he's nope. just—he's uh, just standing I there. Can't touch him. Yeah. I guess we're and just he moves in. <laughs> Except he has reinforcements, and he has a, a much better economy than than I thought because of the bottom right yeah. and stuff, you know. Like, yeah. but why does he see here? <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Uh, GG. <laughs> Angel's in chat. Yeah, I noticed. Hey. So I like how, how, how Angel says highlight, but nothing to me. <laughs> oh. My uh. own stream. <laughs> hey, light and those other two. <laughs> those other two, exactly. Hey, Angel. <laughs> Alrighty then. Final game. Uh, going into the ace match. The ace match. It's not ace match. <laughs> the decider match. It's more like. Okay, so we play on Odyssey. Um, I'll wait. I'll wait for Yaku to intro first, and then I'll talk. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh. I hope I switch the scenes th this time. And on the top left hand corner of the map, he has been in a lot of games so far, it is the Cranky Kronos. And on the bottom right, he has also been in a lot of games, possibly, no, not more, uh, about equal, I guess. It <laughs> is, no, actually, less now I think about it. No, wait, no, yeah, it is equal. It is Light VIP from Cranky again. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so going into this, like now I know, <laughs> Kronos plays Mech, <laughs> Kronos plays Mech, um, and I just wanted a shorter, shorter map, you know, one where I can just like, you know, do more, instead of Acolyte, where you can get three bases really quickly, really fast. You forgot to say one thing. Hmm? You forgot you said, you know that he plays Dirty Mech, that's what you said. Dirt, mm, dirty Mech, mm. Dirty Mech, yes, <laughs> Dirty Mech. Of course. <laughs> uh, yeah. Once again, he walls off. To turn out my scout. Even though he doesn't really hide anything. <laughs> Nocturne, please. Please. <laughs> Trying to defend Mac. Uh, uh. Those Terran players, am I right? <laughs> Goddamn Terrans. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, I don't know. I'm playing as I always do, like, pretty standard hatch gas pool, hatch pool gas. Mm -hmm. Um, 
And yeah, once again, Kronos doesn't Reaper Scout. He does a CV Scout, though. It's true. And he saw everything, so it's pretty good for him. He's making progress on the scouting. Yeah, he learned that the hard way. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I, I guess Kronos doesn't really do anything different, like... Yeah, first few marines. Like he's going for the same, yeah. Thanks. Then reactor on the second factory, and then probably Hellions. Mm -hmm. God damn it, hard revenge. <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. God. Damn, Terrence, they ruined Terran. <laughs> By the way, Yaku is also a Terran. For those who don't know. Yeah, yeah, Yaku's a Terran player. Where yeah, are um, Hellions? so I Where are the Hellions? A difference, a difference in this game, I don't know if you noticed, is I threw down a Roach Warren. Because I'm like, well, I mean, I guess Kronos goes back every game, I guess. Um, and I didn't want to make the same mistake. As last game, right? Like this is the, also, the decider you tried match. Also, to like, scout well. him this time, unlike the other times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes he goes battle cruises. You didn't see all that much, but you did see a factory with a reactor yeah. on it. So. Yeah. Yeah. So now I'm getting out like hydras, and I'm I'm trying to get ready for mech this time. I'm trying to. You know, stay alive in this tournament because I was I was pretty I was pretty nervous going into this because it's like you know it's the ace match it's Kronos he's pretty good like and he just won the last game we're already in the losers bracket like uh, but yeah <laughs> you Korean Kronos you Korean. <laughs> Yeah, interesting. He's going for a drop. Yeah. This time it's not Helions, but Helion and Psycho. Mm -hmm. But the queens are ready. Switching it up. Yeah. Well, this was easily deflected. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting weird speed. I'm getting my third base up. Um, and yeah, I just... We're just we're just smackering up, smackering up. I have overlords over his third base, third bases. Yeah. And now the move out. Yeah. So, um, because I know he's going mech, and because I'm not that good against mech, I'm like, okay, I need to do damage early, you know, I want to go for, for a push and maybe like even try to end down. the game. Yeah, 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 like, um, rush speed just finishes as I do this, um, and I'm also working on up. link speed. Yeah, 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 like, I just, I just want to, I don't want him to get up to that. Like, and yeah, that is painful. Yeah. There's four tanks here. Mm -hmm. And so the Avengers are quite squishy, so... This is the time to link blood right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, that would yeah. be a good time to link blood. Well, that's why I'm getting, um... Because I skipped speed. I skipped speed earlier. But yeah. Because, like, look, I mean... some of the roaches aren't even shooting right now. Like... Things would just get in. Yeah, I'm remaxing on links. They're running across the map right now. Um, and I managed to kill all the tanks, but he he manages to defend. Yeah, um, sure. but I'm I'm happy with that. Like I I yeah, reset the tank count. Yeah, you, you know, kill like, the tanks, and you're also getting a gold. You're getting a yeah, gold. Gold. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Keep headphone music. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like I'm like satisfied with that attack. I'm like okay, I killed all the tanks. Like I'm I'm in a decent position. Except like I've got I've got three bases. Yeah, and I'm getting a spire. 
I'm getting a spire. Getting ready for that brood lord, just in case like he goes that game. But yeah, like knowing what um what Kronos likes now, I'm like kinda disappointed that he didn't go for for BCs. Like that would have been cool to see. <laughs> Are always uh, that's, a, that's a great moment to attack, right? As he was moving like, out, like changing the position. Yeah. Like with the tanks and seats and everything. Um, it was just a perfect timing. And he cleans up most of it, but still, before he makes the enforcements, it's gonna be a while. This tank isn't defended. Liberate is a bit of a bother. Liberate. But yeah. But the uh, one yeah, liberator can't defend everything. It's not really making mob. So that was a really good attack. Yeah, again, because of the attack before the attack before, like he would have had like four more tanks, you know, if I had let him if I'd left him alone, you know, like screw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that is that is important to like keep him on low tank count. Because like once he sets up the siege it will be very hard to break him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I like the deeper vision in the main. Yeah, yeah. Um, no and check. I've got my spider. I'm getting out um, corruptors to deal with the liberators. And I'm getting. Oh, he's... Look. yeah. And I saw. I saw his SCV. Yeah. I saw his SCV go. Yeah. Look yeah, at yeah. this. Is it a ninja, babe? <laughs> Again. He tried. He tried. He tried. That was like one of the most risky places though, because like, it's on your side of the map. Like, I would rather try something, I don't know, at the bottom, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You still have vision of pretty much every base, but still. Yeah. Like, unlike last game, he didn't have a, um, a viking around, like, killing overlords. So, mm -hmm. I was able to see when he tried to do that. Um, yeah, he didn't deny your myself. overlord vision at all. <laughs> like, I guess Liberator could do it as well. Mm -hmm. But right now it's too late, like I already have like, yeah. um, yeah. Corruptors and stuff, like, anti-air. And yeah, send an Overseer in to scout his army. Oh, the corruptors sniping what they Yeah, can. yeah, because... I mean, he has yeah, with barely any anti-air. Yeah, yeah, when I went in with my Overseer first, I saw that he didn't have any anti-air, so I just like, sent in my corruptors. Basically, all his anti-air is the Liberator, but he has them to see. Mm -hmm. And now the... And... Yeah, like, he really needed Thors with his army. Yeah, I kill all the liberators and then I just move in with my army. Oh, there's really gonna do everything. Why are you innocent? So you have to get caught up. 